like my whole team at this rate is going to have COVID. Oh my gosh, what is happening? It's crazy to think that I've already been in Poland for over a month now. Time flies when you're having fun. And I mean, it's just been crazy kind of that first week of kind of quarantine, getting physicals and then straight into training. We had two preseason tournaments where we played three games in three days. And oh my goodness, talk about just getting right back into the swing of things. Um, but it was good. So grateful to be back out there playing. Our regular season is already starting this very weekend, or at least it was supposed to be. So yes. <laughs> um, a lot has happened in this past week and it all kind of started on Sunday. So let me just take you back. All right, well, <laughs> I just woke up. So don't mind me looking like a hot potato here. Um, oh, it's pouring rain. And I was gonna go get ready for our team biological renewal, AKA recovery, because we just finished our last preseason tournament, three games in three days, bodies are dead. And I get a call from our trainer saying that it is canceled because one of my teammates has tested positive for COVID. And so here we are. This is the scenario that I was like, what are they gonna do? And you know, so we're gonna find out what happens, what this looks like. I guess it was inevitable. Of course, the timing would happen that this would happen like right before the first weekend of official season begins. Like, I feel like this literally happened in like Spain and France too. The timing is crazy that after like these month long preseasons, suddenly now we're getting cases, I guess. Do I have to isolate? I honestly don't know. I have no food in my fridge either, which is a minor issue. Oh, well. Stay tuned. <laughs> Good morning, it is time for an update here. My last video was Sunday morning when I got the news that a teammate has COVID. Um, it's now Tuesday morning. Yesterday, half the team was able to get tested and today me and the other half of the team is getting tested. Um, two of our teammates have tested positive since then. So we have three people with COVID still waiting for the rest of the results. It's gonna be interesting. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Um, really hopeful that bunch more of my teammates don't have it so that we, I don't even know, hope I don't have it. Um, kind of dreading this brain swab today, but I guess we just got to do it. Um, oh my goodness, this is insane. This was literally what I was afraid was going to happen coming overseas this season and here we are. <laughs> this will be interesting. Over here translating my team's group chat and two more of my teammates have tested positive. Actually, don't think, I don't think one of my teammates has gotten a negative result yet. So this is basically just the results are coming in and they're all positive. Like my whole team at this rate is going to have COVID. Oh my gosh, what is happening? Take that one more. <laughs> What's about to be super interesting is the fact that you guys know if you watched my vlog when I first got here that I tested positive for antibodies. And then I tested negative for coronavirus. So it's like, am I gonna have it? Like, are those antibodies gonna work? Or am I, do I still have coronavirus? Like, this is going to be very interesting on that note. Not exactly the type of experiment I wanna be having during season, but I guess it can be a case study since we're here. All right, so in good news, two of my teammates have tested negative, I don't know. I'm feeling pretty good. Really hoping my antibodies are gonna pull through for me here. Yeah, I've got about an hour till I have to leave for my test. Then we get to wait for results. Probably have to wait a whole nother day. We have to do another home workout here, chill out in my apartment, wait to hopefully get cleared. To get my test here, wish me luck. All right, just got back from getting tested. Wasn't actually as bad as last time. She only did one nostril. So just getting used to this post COVID lifestyle. But anyways, I have this little slip of paper <clears throat> with some website I can go on. And apparently hopefully in like 24 hours, it'll be up. Although my teammates results were there within like less than 24 hours. So I'm hoping by tomorrow morning, they'll be good to go. Maybe even tonight I'll check before I go to bed, put in my little code and find out what's the situation. Okay, so it's almost 10 PM. 
I'm just gonna check because maybe my results are in. Here's my little paper. Not stressed at all. Ooh, okay, I gotta put my code in here. Oh, no results. Okay. I'll check all my mail tomorrow. It's 1016. Do you think they're posted? <laughs> no results. Fine. I'll really wait till tomorrow, yeah. Okay, it's like 7:30. <laughs> I struggled to sleep last night just because I kept thinking about test results and I'd wake up hoping it was time to check them, but no, it was like 4 a.m. So, just gonna check. Well, my teammate who got tested like an hour after me just posted her result in a group chat. So I'm like, oh my goodness, they have to be ready. So I'm gonna check again. <laughs> it's been like 15 minutes. Do -do -do. <gasps> Can't breathe. Ah! Okay, it's working, okay, it's working. Ah, the results are up, ah! Ah! Okay, wait, woman. Spinning beach ball. Oh my gosh. This anticipation is killing me. Hello? Okay, see the result. See the result. Oh my gosh. What's gonna happen? Not detected! Yes! Yes! <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, antibodies running around in my blood. <sighs> all right, so let me just give you the rundown of what's happened since all of that, because initially it was just kind of shock. It's like, oh my goodness, what's happening? I wasn't ever like super like nervous or afraid. I think that helps that like we've already been through this. Like, I know it's not gonna be like crazy shutdowns like last time where nobody knew what was going on. It's kind of like, okay, where do we go from here? It's more of just a matter of like, where do we go from here? How do we mitigate this and still hopefully have a season? So, so as you saw, I tested negative, which I'm super grateful for. And if you saw my previous video about getting to Gdansk, you would know that I tested positive for antibodies. So I'm not entirely sure how much that had to play with it. Um, Cause I was exposed, I mean, to my eight teammates, which is crazy. So I'm just grateful that I am negative and that it's all okay. It's interesting cause the research on that is so limited still. We don't know how effective the antibodies are, how long they last, but clearly I'm doing okay right now. So in the end, eight girls from our team tested positive. One of our coaches tested positive. Everyone else is negative. And when I say everyone else, I mean like the three other staff members and six, five or six girls, to be honest, I can't remember. I think six girls. However, because we were in contact with so many positive people, we've had to kind of semi-isolate too. I'm basically like an expert at these quarantine home workouts now. So plenty of burpees and skips and all that sort of stuff that you can do, squats, um, in the comfort of your own living room. So I've been on that. So now on Sunday, as long as all of us who tested negative have no symptoms, we'll be able to resume training. Um, like I said before, our first game was supposed to be this Saturday. And so that game and our game next Wednesday have been officially postponed at this point. Um, I'm not sure what they're going to do with our game next Saturday. <laughs> really don't know. Like we could be playing with our six people or they might postpone it too. It'll be very interesting to see what happens. Um, but we're just kind of going with the flow, taking it day by day. It's just so sad because we were really starting to come together as a team. We got two wins this past weekend at our preseason tournament and like we're starting to gel, get our sets, know each other. And now we've got this giant kind of roadblock. Um, hopefully the girls are all able to recover 100% and be okay. But yeah, they're gonna have to get back into shape because I mean, two weeks of not only just like kind of sitting around, but like being sick, like that's gonna do some tremendous work on the body. And so it'll be very interesting what happens from here. On the positive note, like it doesn't look like people are freaking out. Um, they aren't like, oh my goodness, we need to shut down the league, like all that stuff. So I'm grateful for that. We just gotta roll with the punches and just do what we can to make this season happen. And so at this point, the tactic is temporarily postponing games. Um, I do know there's a couple other teams in the league who have people who have tested positive and so they're doing what they can. I'm sure their games will also be delayed. A few teams have already had games. Um, they all got tested though and were all negative so they were able to play and it was all good. I am hoping that the league is gonna come up with some sort of just like protocol 
because we just need to have some certainty as to how this is gonna happen. I know France and Spain, like all the leagues around the world are kind of experiencing this right now. Like they've had some positive cases and people having to quarantine. It's like, they're all figuring it out, which I had hoped they would have figured like these protocols out this summer. They all had the whole summer, but it looks like we're doing that now. So I guess we're just gonna go with it. But anyways, I know France, they just came up with a policy that if one person tests positive, the game still is played. If two test positive, the game is postponed. And if three test positive, the whole team is quarantined and has to like go under a protocol. It's great that they have those protocols in place and they can kind of move forward with this. I know some leagues are doing like regular testing throughout the season. It doesn't look like Poland's doing that at the moment. So it'll be interesting what happens. It might just be more of if someone actually gets sick and then we all get tested and go from there. It just, it is what it is. So. That's where we're at, that's the update. I'll be grateful to hopefully get back practicing again next week. Just keep working, keep getting better, be ready to go whenever we do get to finally play. I'll be sure to keep you guys updated as things happen and change. I'm sure there's people who are meeting, you know, with the league and the coaches and they're all trying to figure out where to go from here, how to handle this. Um, so I trust that they're gonna be working on that and we'll hopefully have some good solutions and just clear direction forward here. But at the moment, I'm just hanging out in my apartment, grateful that I have a great apartment. And so don't be surprised if you see like five vlogs coming at you real fast here because I have nothing else to do with my time. So who's the real winner here? You guys are. <laughs> Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this little update. Make sure to hit that little like button and send a prayer of health towards my team's way so that we can move on and get going with the season. And I'll see you guys next time.